Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Worth. And in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate some fine adjustments that you can do that can make an overall difference down the line. I've talked in the past about making small adjustments here and there, um, similar to different levels of sandpaper that isn't a heavy handed change, but down the line, it gives you an overall better result. And in this example, I figured it would be great because I have a batch of stems from a track called Lover, which is by Boom Boom Boom, a record I mixed a few years back. And I had the stems that I printed. Um, so I thought it would be cool just to give some examples. So just to start, I'll play the track and let you familiarize yourself with the song. So, you know, it's a pretty cool track, got a little blues, hip hop, jazz feel to it. Um, I thought it would be cool to just mess around and I pulled out this FabFilter Pro 2 EQ and I, I love this, I've mentioned before, I love uh, filtering out the low end from the sides in mid side mode. And I was really surprised at how well it uh, brings more focus into the low end, even for this. And um, I figured it'd be a cool example to show you because sometimes, you know, if you do have to go back to a mix or stems like this and make an adjustment for a client, or maybe several years later, you're doing a, a remix or you're, you're doing a, a radio mix or, you know, whatever it is. Th this was cool because it was a, it was an easy adjustment that actually made it sound better overall. So, Here's the track. I'll show it to you without and then with for the drums. So it might take a little bit to listen to that, but the low end is just a little more fatter it's more focused. It's nice. Okay, so here's the same thing for the, the bass. So it just brings a little more focus and it cleans up the track. Um, I thought that was really cool. And I I had taken it one step further and on this effects track, you know, th there's a lot of videos going around, different people giving uh, demonstrations of what's called or what we know as the Abbey Road reverb trick or whatever. And, um, you know, there's various techniques that you can do and similar things. Basically, it's just a high and low filter for the most part that um, it puts it puts your effects in focus and it kind of it takes out certain frequencies that uh, are prominent with the actual dry tracks. So it lets it blend better. So with that, I just, you know, I just quickly messed around. I mean, this isn't anything particular, but 163 Hertz and below, I just filtered out and um, about almost 9K and above, I filtered out. So just listen and, um, I'll play a little bit where the instrumental and then hear it into the vocal. And it's actually nice. I mean, oh, without without these adjustments, the track sounds great to me. You know, there's a lot of nice glue to the track and it's very organic. I mean, it was all tracked live. So the, the room, there, there's a lot of leakage and bleed. So naturally there's a lot of glue to it. But this kind of, you know, it made things pop out a little differently, which is really cool. It's 
simple as I am I can get complicated complicated so right away that vocal you hear it just get more dimensional it's almost like you feel like you're in that room and I thought that was really cool and with the drums you can hear the snare and all that stuff kind of you know it has its own space it's like there's a little more separation so let me play that back again and just listen closely So, you know, again, a very minimal change. I'm literally doing filters on three tracks and it makes it sound a little more exciting, a little better, you know. Um, and I'll just mention on the fab filter, almost 98% of the time, I put it in this mode that's auto makeup gain so that when you take away this energy, it's the track is still in the in a relative uh, volume level. So here, let, let me go back and play it and I'll I'll bypass all the processing and then I'll add it in and then you can see what it does overall. So that's about it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about this, as always, feel free to email me. And also make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube channel. I'm doing a bunch of cool giveaways right now. I'm giving away a, uh, a signed Steve Vai Passion Warfare LP. It was signed during the Modern Primitive recording sessions that we did a few months back. And I got Chris Frazier, who's the original drummer from Passion Warfare, Stu Ham, original bass player, and Steve Vai himself. So in order to be eligible for that giveaway, you gotta be subscribed to the newsletter and the YouTube channel. And I'm gonna just pick it randomly um, in the next month or so. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Worth.